a ready make me chat in a man Cause me have couple things be addressed in a man Right now me no care cause me right me no wrong Only who feels it knows Mama say by the sweat of your bro you shall eat in a man So me travel from St. James straight to Kingston Independent and me have ambition Cause me know some of future bright in a man When rising star 2009 Every day since then me dip on the grind Donovan tell me if you wait for my time But me a big woman and me have my kids for my mind School a fi go, school fee a fi fine White school can't bite my youth a lunch time Real survivor, non turn up in a line Or chop ten and sit down like me a waste time Me put my muscle in, want elevate cause me tired of the struggling Positivity get kick out of the juggling Before me turn freak or that try out some muscle in ba, 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 Hey, ba, would ba, you call ba, the driver? Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> <laughs> To be me, you're trying out successfully. I won't lose my dignity. What inspired you to do this song at this moment? Just the journey, frustration, you know, expectation from the fans, you know, people. Remember in 2009, like I said in the song, I won the talent competition, Digital Rising Stars, and the expectation was very high. And coming from I'm gonna use the word a nobody, coming from a nobody, somebody nobody knew in the music space. So being on this big platform where everybody know, recognize the name Sugar, they're aware of this talent Sugar. So not getting much of Sugar, it's frustrating bad you know? Because mm -hmm. now when I walk on the road, people are say, well, go on, sugar, we we'll vote for you when I hear nothing. Every time, no matter how much song we put out, every single time, we not hear you, we not hear you. That's why always was that? the word. Why I don't was know. That? Because like me say another song again, when Rising Star 2009, every day since then, me the on the grind. Me never stop working. I started out with songwriters, and then, you know, one time I was given an ultimatum. The songwriter was given an ultimatum. Like, if he's going to work with me, he can't work with ex artists or some, some argument like that. And so I figured from there that, you know, a girl, you need to start figure out your way. You need to try because, I mean, when I go so school... Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Yes. The songwriter was mm -hmm. told that if he was writing... He was writing for other artists were another female artist right right whose name we so, will not call no we're not gonna no. do that but i guess maybe the songs were sounding alike or maybe we, we were sounding similar i don't know mm -hmm. or maybe a competition some people for that too because you know it's a competitive space and people just everybody wants to be that one at the top of the pinnacle so you know, when I realized what was happening. So he was given an ultimatum saying, yeah. if you continue writing you for Sugar, write for you can't write for, for Yasmin. Right. Because Yasmin is a bigger artist than yeah. Sugar. So, so those, important. pick your choice. Yeah. yeah, so pick Yasmin. Right. And, but these women in the business always be talking about embracing each other and female empowerment and it's lifting each there. other. It's not that? No. Mm. The, some, some will embrace you to a point. Some will forever embrace you. Big up Marcia Griffiths. Big up Judy Mowat. You know, big up Aline. Big up Tanya Stevens. I, I traveled for the very first time out of Jamaica because of Tanya Stevens. And I noticed you called her name in the yeah, song. Yeah, I'm off it. I yes. can't leave her out of my journey because I was only a teen then when she recognized my talent. A matter of fact, um, her musicians are from Montego Bay, my city. And... Uh, she had a rehearsal. She was going on a tour. And uh, I was told she was looking for background singers. So me and one of my friends just learned every song, you know, we sit down and study harmony. Yeah, you know, that thing I see. <laughs> <laughs> Master God. I we got a rehearsal. When we got there, it was like, yeah, everything was gelling perfectly. And we got the job. Me not even did have passport. Trust me, I did an express, get the passport, and by the next week, I was in 
Martinique. What you say? Big me, things. No, then you want to see me on private jet. I eat peanut Ray, and drink girl, champagne. <laughs> God, I'm Martinique. Lovely. And then, you know, every weekend, we were off the island. Somewhere in the Caribbean. And then I think it was, she did an autumn tour. An autumn Europe tour for the Revolution album. Mm -hmm. And I was also a part of that. Beautiful experience. And that was the first time I realized that, you know, as much as my love for seeing the experience here up here, so it, it just gave me a rush. And it felt like, you know, sometimes you feel like you want to do something because you see other people do it. That wasn't it. I couldn't escape this love for what I have for music. You see, all when time things now happen the way I want it for you right now, I still can't escape it. There's always a song in my head another song in my head that I want to record, something that I want to share with my audience, you know, because music is a beat for every mood and a melody for each emotion. And music is a very beautiful tool that, you know, can be used and has been used over the so many years to send messages across. We never go someplace yet, you know, but people in different regions. My music, they know some of my songs, and you know, God bless who know them, but I am grateful. Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm listening to you and I'm mesmerized, you know. Music is a beat for every emotion and a melody for, like, a girl. A beat for every mood uh -huh. and a melody for each emotion. Girl, you're full of lyrics. Lord Jesus. <laughs> but are true, because, I mean, it's a, it's a feeling. It's a feeling and the melodies, they do something, you know, when you put the melody together. And all right, sometimes, for example, if I'm writing a song, I might listen to a particular rhythm, and the rhythm just tell me exactly what to do. I just find myself flowing like air on the rhythm. You know, different instruments will pull different things from you as well because mm -hmm. of the emotion that it comes with. Yeah. So you'd never do anything other than music? I have, I have mommy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mommy in right now. I have a 17 year old son and a two year old. Yeah, man, so I'm going to do that. Mommy, a big work, you know, trust me. When you're a mommy, the work never done. It's well, about. Like, a bit like you get 17 year old son from. What do you mean? All right, we talk yeah, about we that. We talk about that off the air. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mommy is a serious job. Serious because I have to do music. And being a mother, I have to also think about my kids. Mm -hmm. Can't just think about myself alone and want me to see trending. Mm -hmm. I have to forget that because my kids, I want them to respect me. But before I want them to respect me, I have to respect myself. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. I put it right there. So, And so the type of songs that I sing, I choose to do this because... My kids live in this world. Mm -hmm. I may have to start from home. Me not try to be not only righteous or nothing like that, you know. No, because may I tell you the truth. Sometimes I just want to break out and go on with myself. And I do break out and go on with myself when I hear some songs where really just call feet. But personally, upon a personal level, like I choose not to do certain songs because I'm a mother. This was always you. No. Or was there a point when you uh, no. broke out? It wasn't always me. No. I'm glad they asked the question. Eh? It wasn't always me because I used to want to follow everything when I see in other space. And I would. And then when I did that, it just never felt like me. I would draw back, step back from it because I said, then I do this and I'm able to do it. I can go in the studio and stand behind the mic and say, fling the foot, you so on, dash the one, you so on. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, how may I go present that when I go up on stage? And that is not me. You understand? So I have to just leave that alone. I will leave that I do, I do stuff, I do songs, and uh, especially if, if, if it's even a live thing and you see other people go up on the stage and them get them forward and thing I said then I want me to go up there so go do you now forget for me forward. I have to plan up something but I have to walk away from the mentality there. Trust me because you see follow fashion 
There's something that we mash you up, man. You have to know yourself and you have to just firm and stand your ground. And so I started paying more attention to people like Bob Marley, Marcia Griffiths. Bob Marley, I mean, I see Bob Marley, I take forward and I do them something there. I'm just I sing some strong songs, they're meaningful. And if the people them take it, them take it. Him, him, he's a messenger, him bring the message, him deliver the message and him job done. And right now his music stands. And you're a dancer, right? You're a dancer artist. Um, what, uh, yeah. I guess what happened? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> there's something that can be confusing. You see, if I get a dance rhythm, I can ride it in a clean way. Because that is another thing I noticed too. And it, it used to confuse me as well. You, you, you'd notice um, females and dance hall rhythms, them have to go hard and nasty and them have to, you know, and me just try to break out of the mindset there, I don't want to do that. So if it's if it boring to you when we present it, then you're not have to play it. Mm -hmm. Just leave it alone. But me now, it may not feel like we have to go nasty. Music is a beat for every mood and a melody for each emotion. You understand? You can put a rain up on a dance hall rhythm. You can brick and lace when them go up on them dance hall rhythm and hear nothing nasty. And then when you go nasty, it's like you have to go nastier to nasty. Yes. You keep competing with the something them. And it, it, it's just, I mean, I really like it for me. I don't like it for me, but anybody else who are right with it for themselves, fine. And, and you will listen to the song. Of course, so. me listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, me listen to it. Yeah, man, me listen. I'm a whole of vibe. Because it's not a, I'm always, <laughs> me and my sister always say, you know, when we go in our bedroom, we don't go in there with the Bible. I know that we're going there in time. Me and my husband going to our bedroom and the and a Bible class and a Bible study. So we know about things. We know the things then. I can't say that when I just say. I'm going to say it already. So if we not edit it, we not edit it. But <laughs> we are reason. <laughs> I'm just going to show you our vibe. So we know the things then. We know how foot for set and back for broken and what we do. We know all of that already. But at the end of the day, it's a I mean, I put down not when nobody I do, but may I say, me personally, I know that me come both. I come with a different something to deliver, a different message and a different vibe, and I can only be me. In this sojourn of story, they can't change my destiny. If I fail, if I succeed, I won't lose my dignity. That, 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 that came to mind because it's like me, I feel empower myself. I have to tell myself, say, stay strong, girl, just go on. One day something we up. So I have to tell myself, you know, nobody know did if you tell me that. I know I probably sound miserable, may I tell you no, know, but I the truth. Because of life and trust me, it's easy to for, for anybody to be depressed. When I try something over and over again. I have people but tell me in a comment section and say, listen, go on go sell some orange, get an orange cat, go down a market. <laughs> And stop the foolishness, boy, I do music. I have friends who message me and tell me, say, my girl, you need to go look at work. As if I call them and beg them nothing. But oh, them how does that me. make you feel? <laughs> I feel bad. You can laugh about it now. Listen, I <laughs> say I feel alone. I feel alone. I feel singular. <laughs> Where are you in your I journey now, you. Sugar? Who are you working with? Like, I, am, I get the feeling that you're upbeat. <laughs> <laughs> I am upbeat. I am. I'm chill, man. I'm cool. But you know, um, everybody wants things to go on for mm -hmm. them. I'm not going to like, not want things to go on. I want nice. You understand? I want yeah. people to pay attention to the message and the music again. I want the people to wake up and realize say, we need balance. The one side something that not going to work. I fight against it. Because we have our young girls coming up. And we don't want them to have the mentality say, guess what? If I go to the music something here, at this I have to go do. Because enough time I look, I hear a question where you ask me, but I have to elaborate. Enough time I look in a space and every little girl when I see her come up is like, them emulate the slackness. Mm -hmm. Nothing else is there to, trust me, 
and it's sad. Them can't be them authentic selves because them figures say, you yeah, have to do certain things to get attention. I mean, know this. You know this. Because I know, say, trust me, you walk, broke your foot down there, so now it make news. One care, lick you, it make news. So people are create things now for attention. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want that. I don't want to do that. I want to send a message, and it's not a boring message because it messages of love, messages of hope. You have people who are so depressed. They want to end themselves. They don't have no food to eat. Real things are going on. Real things are going on. And, you know, it just need the balance. Trust me. Yeah, your voice is very important in all of this. I believe so, yeah. too. I believe so. I'm working with Penthouse Records, Donovan Jermaine. And I've been working with Jermaine for a while now. And I feel at home with Jermaine because Jermaine uh, begged me no crutches. I can't say crutches. I just want to make yourself if you be my real self, you know. I'm just want to be <laughs> Jermaine. Jermaine. It's like a father figure, you know? I mm -hmm. respect him. He respects me. And I uh, can't leave myself careless. Because more while I'm careless, you know? Trust me, very careless. And I can't can just be that around him. No worries. Mm -hmm. You understand? And so I'm comfortable with doing that. I've worked with producers before where my music was held hostage because of vagina. Ouch. You understand? Ouch. Because you can't run people and after a while, you know, because your vibe and your energy is so nice, them fall in love and, you know, maybe you know the this or maybe them feel like you flirt with them and you're not even a flirt because you just be a real self and things just get out of hand. You know, stuff like that and so... I can't leave myself careless to run in here anybody because I go end up lose. I mean, I have so much sugar for go around. <laughs> 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 it's not so much at all. I have to be careful with the porn we may have. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Mitzi. Mitzi, um, from what I read, born, up, born in an Adventist home, mm -hmm. go to church on Saturday, <laughs> sing, on the, sing on the church choir. I like this environment. Huh? I can't be myself. So let me tell you about Mitzi. Mitzi, I want to look her barefoot girl from over here. I have, oh my God, I don't want to miscount, but I have so many siblings. I don't go get no number because I don't want to live for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I have my siblings. I have three brothers and about seven, eight, or yeah, about nine sisters. Yeah, about that. And, uh, you know, we, we, all of us can sing. Oh, really? But, yeah, but I grew up in a Christian household. Mm -hmm. My father have a sound system where he play in the community and people come out and everybody all enjoy and just enjoy themselves. But as kids, we were never allowed. You know, care what song that they play, we can't put our foot. We have to just know, say, we we'll take up one Bible and go study a memory verse. Mm -hmm. And about that with the foolishness. Go read your quarterly. Yeah. Your yeah, morning no. watch. You sound like you grew up in ah. Adventist. <laughs> <laughs> right there. And so that was my upbringing. I grew up singing with my brothers and sisters at home. You know, devotion, 5 a.m. And uh -huh. sometimes devotion could have long. No care how mommy knows say. The, the eight away, I forgot to be for God's school. I joke, we never grew so close, so close. <laughs> But no care, she know we have to ready for God's school. The devotion long hour when they say, Mommy, we have to get ready for God's school. Listen, God can't wait, school can't wait. Amen. Now that we know, we have to just work with it. And we, when we late on God's school and get a whooping, we have to just work with that too. But you know, <laughs> that was the upbringing. Singing at home, singing in church, singing on the church choir. Also singing at school because... You know, I remember one time when I was at school and I heard the choir. From my classroom, I heard the school choir. Said, what, what school was that? It was Herbert Morrison Technical High. Mm -hmm. And I attended Catherine Hall Primary before. And so 
When I heard the choir, I said, no man, this sound nice. So I followed the sound and I told the music teacher, hey, you know, we can sing alto. And he said, hey, you have to come do an audition. And I did my audition. I was a part of the school choir. And I enjoyed it. We did a lot of festivals, you know, JCDC festivals. And, you know, they have competition between schools. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. them something they used to make me travel, you know. Because <laughs> <laughs> trust me, this country girl never used to go nowhere. Music carried me everywhere. Across parishes and borders. And then across and, the world. Yes. You know, so a long time, been a long time, man. You know, I still link up with some of my school friends. I was still all a vibe together. Still always a musical joy. Yeah, you know, definitely this year I'm putting out my very first album. Yay! <laughs> you go, girl. Regardless of the struggle, I'm putting out my very first album. And I'm looking forward to the success of my Jamaican people. People overseas, you know, new fans come on board as well. Take a listen. You won't be disappointed. There's something on the album for everybody. Is the album finished? Ready? Yeah, man, it's yeah. done. It done. D U N. Okay. <laughs> we know it's a D O N. Okay. Yeah, but we know. Don't reset. Don't reset. D U N. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so you can't tell me about the album, the title, Ready anything. So the title of the album is Girl from Bogue. Okay. Because right. Bogue is the community I hail from in Montego Bay. Bay. And I feel proud to have a complete project. Because if you know Bogue, let me tell you something about Bogue. Bogue is a place where a lot, a lot, a lot, so many people in Bogue are so talented, but there are very little opportunities. Mm -hmm. You know, and some people don't realize that they have to step out and go seek the opportunity for themselves. They can't wait for it to come to you. You understand? You have talent. Can't done. And this is not all of Jamaica, too. Exactly. And it's just Bogue. Yeah. But I have to talk, I have to dance a yard. Yeah. So I have to talk about Bogue. When I see the youth, them, and I look around and I see them. And I, you see, I just want to be that success story. From Borg, we are going to help the mentality of other talented people living there. And not just music talent. For you no know, say so you can step forward in a, your own footstep and just go for it. May I think while me talk because this is meaningful to me. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's, it's, it's rough for some people when people don't really know. Them strength and know, say, hey, there's something here. I don't need nobody to tell me something for go for. I don't no need nobody to tell me for go for. I just need to make a step. Because when I started doing music, I never know what happened. When, when I was at school and I just read seventh grade and the teacher said, stand up, what is your name? And I said, Mitzi Natalia Camira Campbell Miss. And she said, what do you want to become? Miss, when I'm a big man, because I used to chat bad in and now I just had to curve my little <laughs> tongue and fix it, right? Miss, when I'm a big woman, I want to be an artist, I want to sing, because I like sing. Miss, I can't sing, you know? And when I start sing, I want to look at something. Then tired of me. Then <laughs> <laughs> tired. But I tell you, like, from there, so the teacher say, are you a part of the choir? You understand? Mm -hmm. So from there, you don't know one little thing lead to a next little thing to another little thing to a next. So you have to just make a first step. You know, I've had people come to me and as much as me and I know big artists in them eyes, I still encourage them, you know, in a, in a, a right light. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. on Instagram, social media platforms, come forward, young producers, what do you think about the rhythm here? I say, hey, the progression band is really nice, you know, but guess what I think you have to do? You have to remember it's a competitive space. Other people are building a rhythm live. So like when you go one drop, make sure say, you include some live elements. I don't keep it to myself and say, hey, I want to figure it out. I work by myself. And no, I don't do that. So you're I interested in the whole business of the business? Yeah, man, I am. It's beautiful. 
and when I am anywhere in the world and I hear something coming from home, it makes me proud. Mm -hmm. Or it can make you shame too if it no sound right. Yeah. So which way you want to feel? I want to feel proud. So rather than to keep it to myself, suppose I the same look at you here now. I go come change something and make something, make a great difference. Yeah, you have an input. And if you me even say, hey, you know, say sugar did say whatever, me no business. Me feel good in myself, you know, say. Me did tell, I may walk tell everybody too. Say, so, you know, say, me did tell him, say whatever. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You feel of nice. course, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Big up my foundation, people. You sure love, so I'm keeping it real too. Good Samaritan, them what give me shelter. Me grateful, cause me never have a bow for. Hey, Tanya Stevens, that you give me my first flight. Revolution tour, open my eyesight. The fancy, the glory, them highlight the bright light. Them never see when we stress out under frostbite. Marcia Griffiths, queen, me emulate you. And Donna Van Germain, you know me rate you. Now for them, I wonder if me really never date you. Chat all kind of things, but you never pass your place up. So. All right, me name Sugar, me not start no fuss. Not chase no clout and me no cuss cuss. But nowadays, you have to do the wrong things, them for boss. And if you really want to train your care, stay conscious. You have to follow the agenda. Lose your focus. Fall in line, and you will get a plus. Not me. In this sojourner story, they can change my destiny. If I fail, if I succeed, I won't lose my dignity. In this sojourner story, I'm inspired to be me. You're trying unsuccessfully. I won't lose my dignity. Next part. Me see them light candle, me see them dash water, want the pan top, so them sell out the father. Prior to slow, so them done with the pasta from money, I make some no care, them will last for. Me see friends turn enemy upon the journey. Homeless and a catch, but them still a envy. Them a try keep me close, just fake and come me. Me cut off every weight, them a bad company. We in this sojourner story, they can change my destiny. If I fail, if I succeed. I want me to look at our money at all. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs>